Hello everyone. Uh, we'll be looking at the new online pattern for NATA 2020 today. So before we start, I just want to say that the information we are giving out today is uh, based on the best of our knowledge. The accuracy isn't guaranteed as this is just our version of analysis for the revised syllabus. So we'll be discussing the details for the exam, the revised paper pattern and the changes, revised syllabus and a syllabus overview with the type of questions that could be asked. Again, these questions are just examples of the questions that could be asked. So the first attempt of NATA uh, or the first test is now proposed to be held on the 29th of August 2020. The date for the second test is yet to be announced. This time, the candidates may opt to appear for the test from their respective residences or an allotted test center in case they do not have internet connectivity at home or have any hardware or technical issues. The option for this uh, shall be provided to the candidates on their respective login accounts. There's going to be a provision for new registrations, uh, the details of which are yet to be announced. So this year, due to COVID-19, there's been a change in the drawing test syllabus and the test format for the exam. For NATA, part A, which is the drawing test, shall be conducted online. And uh, part B, the syllabus and the format shall stay the same. The drawing test would be a preferential choice type test, uh, which would mean that it would either be an MCQ test or uh, it could be, you know, in a this or that format you would have the choice of picking your preference. Let's have a look at the revised syllabus. Uh, this year, the aptitude of a student would be analyzed on the following terms, the knowledge of design principles, spatial intelligence, knowledge of color theory, spatial visualization, and cognitive ability. Let's see what these topics are and uh, what are the kind of questions that could be asked. Principles of design. Design can be summarized uh, in five parts, elements and principles of design and three more to follow. Remember, uh, these principles of design uh, work together to create something that is aesthetically pleasing and optimizes the user experience. Let's look at the kind of questions that could be asked. So you could be asked to identify a principle of design uh, through description or uh, could be asked to identify a principle through a given image. So spatial intelligence can be summarized into 14 subtopics, both 2D and 3D, as uh, spatial intelligence works both ways. Uh, it is rotation of images, uh, mirror images, cube and dice, paper folding, and of course, 10 more. So spatial intelligence is the ability to comprehend three-dimensional images and shapes. Um, it's the ability to generate, retain, retrieve, and transform well-structured visual images. Uh, it's the mental feature that architects perform when they design buildings. Let's look at the type of questions that could be asked. So the first question is an image rotation question. Here you have to identify which amongst uh, the answer images would be identical to the question images once rotated. If a paper is folded according to the directions given from X to Z, uh, and later a hole is punched seen in the image Z on the folded paper, what would the unfolded sheet of paper look like? That is what you have to pick amongst the answer images, A, B, C, or D. Color theory. Uh, color theory could be summed up into four topics, which is color schemes, color terminology, and two more. So color theory is basically understanding the color wheel and color harmonies, uh, what works, what doesn't work, and how color basically communicates. Here, uh, you could be asked to recognize a color scheme or a combination of colors. This is a color terminology question uh, where you've been asked to identify what K stands for. So you could be asked about abbreviations or other terminologies. Your K stands for key black. Spatial visualization. Uh, it could be summed up into four topics, uh, object proportion, perspective and its principles, and two more. Here, through such questions, a mental rotation test could be done to analyze if you can rotate a 3D object mentally to visualize its form uh, from all the sides. This is a principle of perspective-based question. So there's a cat on the parapet next to the house. You have to perceive the house through the cat's eye level. Uh, and mark an answer as per what the cat would view. Again, it's an analysis of visualization. 
cognitive abilities it could be summed up in about five uh, subtopics attention to detail memory and three more so cognitive ability is the mental capability that involves the ability to reason plan solve problems think abstractly comprehend complex ideas learn quickly and learn from experience here to test your attention you could get asked to spot a mistake uh, in a given image with a set of options for this image uh, it's an african jungle with a silhouette of a kangaroo so the kangaroo is a mistake as it is an australian animal for memory test you could be shown an image for a fraction of seconds and later you could be asked to identify parts of the previously shown image so basically you have to memorize the image in uh, whatever time it is shown to you or you know you could be shown a series of images one after the other and later you could be asked to arrange them in the series that they were shown to you so at silica we have come up with over 20 subtopics for the revised nata syllabus you could prepare live with us through our online programs for your nata exam give us a call on 8080809198 or visit our website www.silica.co.in please do like and share uh, to watch more videos on design careers colleges and exams subscribe to our channel thank you